Thank you, Bert. Uh, welcome to my talk, Composing Human Time. It's a little bit different. Um, so what do I do? Um, I investigate time and time experiences in the history of modern psychiatry. And whenever I encounter a notion of time that I cannot quite grasp in words, then uh, I write it down in music. And I do that because I think art can help to uh, better understand and teach scientific knowledge. So why investigate time? To live life is to live a life in time. So it is for a reason that time pervades in everyday speech. Expressions like time heals all wounds, uh, take your time or live in the here and now. However, time also has many different meanings and connotations. So why do I focus on psychiatry? Because in the early 20th century, uh, influential German psychiatrists thought that um, their patients' experience of time was key to understanding their mental problems. But not only their mental problems, also the key to understanding human being in general. So in a way, their knowledge of time is based upon day-to-day -day interaction with real people. Why music? Well, time is sometimes a little bit difficult to grasp, and music makes time concrete. It has the quality to, uh, within a certain time span, express an aspect of time without using words. What do I want to do in this demonstration? Is, um, well, I want to show you how composition is an excellent means to communicate historical ideas about time. So, in a few moments, you will hear how I translated some of the key elements of a psychiatric concept into music. The concept is inner life history, the story of a human life, and the piece is called Human Time. I will firstly introduce a few parts of the piece, and then I will play the entire piece. So, what is inner life history? It's a psychiatric concept from the early 20th century, and that was a period in which scientists started to look at human beings in a new, less reductionistic and less materialistic way. They claimed that a human life has its own form of time and that that was different from the time of the clock. You might say that this is the reason for the expression doing things in your own time. Inner life history meant to these psychiatrists that human life is a unity that moves forward. Like a train, it develops in a meaningful direction. <laughs> Into the future. So how to make a forward motion auditive? and how to make the mystery of human development auditive. So how's the piece built up? Actually, like an essay, 
it has an introduction, a description of the concept, it has a first consideration, it has a second consideration, it has a conclusion, and it tries to take this conclusion to the next level. So if you hear this, that means I've started to describe inner life history. However, we have to consider that in a life history, tragic events occur. And these kinds of events sometimes make time feel as if it's working against you. That tragedy could sound like this. But life also sometimes offers unexpected presence. And in, during these times, time feels like it's carrying you. So what function does this music have? <clears throat> Besides the substantial function that it describes time, it serves a public goal. Because it's simply easier to capture the attention from an audience if you appeal to various senses. And historically speaking, the choice of music is based on the psychiatric sources. Um, they write about examples of melodies, rhythms and beats and moods experienced by the patients. And by using music, I aim to get to know the sources with a method that is derived from the sources themselves. So I try to get to know the past in its own terms. And I will play the entire piece now. And I want to send you into the evening with a question. Have we learned something new from the music?
Okay, thank you very much. Yeah.